What's uh, what's the latest with your with your injury? I know you're not playing this weekend. Um, well, I go to the doctor again when I go back Monday, get back home. Uh, so I don't know for sure how long I'll be out. Is it anything? Do you think it's serious, or I mean, what what actually is your injury? I'm not. I wasn't wasn't sure. Um, what it's a fracture. I actually, kind of fractured the bone. It's okay. called the fifth metatarsal in my foot. So um, you know, the doctor originally said, you know, it depends on how it feels after a month. But it can be up to you know three, four months out. Okay. So. What um, what's uh, even though you're not playing here this weekend, a lot of coaches are here. Uh, what what's the latest on your recruitment? Where, who who are you hearing from the most? And um, you have you know you have any idea when you're going to start cutting things down? I've been here for a lot lately. You know the recruitment's been picking up, but I plan on cutting my list down after Peace Jam, uh, either between Peace Jam and Vegas. You know somewhere between, How, for the next what, couple weeks. What do you want to cut it down to? Approximately maybe between eight or ten, maybe even twelve. I haven't really. Where's Kentucky in that mix right now? I know, know they've been pretty heavy on you from right from the get-go. No, they're, they're definitely in the, uh, my top ten discussion. You know, they've always been uh, you know, recruiting pretty hard. And, uh, they're in the mix. Do you have any plans to visit uh, Kentucky or anywhere else anytime soon? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to start taking my business come fall. You know, I'm going to utilize my downtime since I'm hurt. So I'm going to uh, check out some schools, visit, and uh, just build closer relationships with these any schools you know for sure you're gonna visit? Uh, not particularly. Uh, me and my family, we've been discussing it. But uh, when I get back home, we're really gonna talk about where we want to go. You know, on officials and unofficials. Taking off by officials. You have a time to want to make the decision, the final decision. It all depends when I uh, schedule my visits. If I have all my visits down uh, by the fall, you know, like by November. And, uh, it could possibly be a, a decision around that time, but if not, I mean, it's no rush right now, so uh, you know, I'm still waiting to see my business. So, my business. When are you going to be? What, what's the prognosis for you? Well, I go, I go back to the doctor Monday, so they'll let me know for sure, you know, how I, I, this is my fourth week on it right now, so um, they'll see my progress. If not, I don't know, you know, they'll let me know when, how long. Have they given me any estimate at all about? Originally, when I went there, they said it's, you know, uh, two to three months. But he said, depending on, you know, how I progress, and you know, since I'm still young, my, my bones are gonna grow uh, naturally. So I didn't have to have surgery or anything. So uh, we'll see when I, when I go back. What have you been doing to help recover so far? I've been doing a little rehab, uh, mainly a little resting as well. You know, trying to stay off it. But uh, been doing like some water aerobics, you know, stuff in the pool. Um, you know, just minor stuff to try to, you know, speed up the process. How disappointing is it to be injured for your last run in the Peach Jam? Uh, it's very disappointing. You know, it's my second year not playing. Last year I got hurt, the, I want to say, the first game. So I was, uh, you know, I was sidelined again watching my team. But uh, it's tough. You know, I really want to get out there, especially watching my guys lose and knowing you can't do anything about it. But uh, it's tough. And uh, it's my last go around. So, But, I mean, everything happens for a reason. Kentucky's going to have a probably a huge exodus after the season. They're going to need a bunch of guys. What what has been sort of their pitch to you, I guess, in this process? I have to say it again. What, what has been sort of Kentucky's pitch to you in this process? What are the, what are they selling the hardest? What what stands out to you about their what they're selling? I guess. Oh, particularly stands out, you know, just the development of their guys. You know, um, the progression and uh, how he develops into the next level. You know, just the spotlight, you know, I know a lot of guys that are on the squad, you know, my former teammate, Darren Fox, and, uh, he just, you know, he kind of tells me how, you know, their lifestyle, how they, how they are at Kentucky, but uh, it's a great program. Do you talk much with Darren? How often do you, do you talk about him? Uh, we talk, like, you know, every other week or so, you know, but uh, we, we keep in contact. What's been his feedback? I know he's been up there two or three weeks now. Have you talked to him about what it's like? Yeah, he told me he loves it up there. He loves everything, you know, the culture, the fans, uh, the basketball, just the school in general. He just loves it up there.